It be up. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Let's uh, eat that. There. Do a page. No. A page. My timeline. Okay. Mm. Uh. Per porgy. Porgy bear. What the hell's porgy bear? But yes, good morning. Okay. So, uh, we got that scared out. Okay, let me check my volume and stuff. Okay, hello. Good morning. So, I got off work earlier and I went to bed. I went and slept and I just woke up. And I woke up a little late. So, I was supposed to start at 7, and it is 7.09, so sue me, ha ha ha, I still am within a time frame, I'm still within the time frame, okay, now I got to go and check what the hell all this stuff is, because I got all kinds of stuff as this is, so that's what we got today. Uh, oh yeah, Joyster says good morning, and yeah, and Casper messaged me. We have a few friend requests. We'll accept them all. Why not? Work it. Somebody quoted in carpools. Okay, let's see. Uh, when you you are on time, when you show up, that's absolutely right, Trixie. Absolutely. A princess shows up exactly when a princess wants to. I'm just saying. Never late. Oh, God, you got sleep, though. I did. I did good. Yeah, I got a little bit of sleep. I got about, I don't know, uh, two, three, four, five, six. I got about five hours. I actually got about five hours of sleep, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, I've got to get the coffee on. I don't have it on yet. Hey, Cherry Snot's in the room. What's up, Cherry Snot? What's going on? So, yeah, so I did get a little bit of sleep. And uh, I'm feeling much better today. I don't have a fever anymore. So but my nose is still stuffed up. I just did the Afrin. I haven't taken my allergy medicine yet. So, ugh. but uh, I think we're going to be all good today. Mine is on auto. Yeah, I just, I, 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 because I woke up nine minutes after seven, I was like, uh, let me run in here and get everything set up real quick and just go live. So I haven't made coffee yet. So <coughs> I'll make it in a minute. I'll make it a little bit, but yes. So Trixie, um, if you're still in the room, Trixie, 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 um, Trixie, if you're still in the room, um, do I need to send, did I already send you my address or not? Um, you can send me that pin when you get it done. Cause I'm, I want it. That's awesome. Um, and you, sh you, you, if you need, I can send you the Chris art that's, uh, that's, on the main screen right here, my Abaddon face. If you'd like to do a pin like that instead, I can send that to you if you're still here. If you're still here. Don't know. Uh, good morning. Jason Biggs is in the house. Everybody, Biggs, 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 Biggs the clown. Everybody love Mr. Biggs. Um, oh, thank you, Jane. First time joining us, guys. That's awesome. Welcome to the room. We talk about positive things in here and about how to handle things as an adult in a very positive way. Um, so... Uh, we also talk about the horror industry and, and how life affects us and everything. So welcome to the room. I hope you enjoy it. Right now we're just doing our greetings because we just started. So where was I? Where was I? Yes, I am. And no, you didn't. Okay. So I'll get that to you, Trixie. We'll get together. You got both of those picks. I'm gonna, okay, cool. Did you give the fool? Um, let's see. I've been sleeping until 6 a.m. later or later. Yeah, and De Debbie, that's crazy for you. You're, 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 you're getting to be lazy and you're in your, um, in your, um, retirement. <laughs> Good morning, Lydia. Linda, L Lydia, listen to me. What the hell? I just woke up and I ain't had coffee yet. Y'all have to forgive me. Forgive me. 
Uh, no, Cherry's not. We only talk about anal when you're in the room because you are just that person. I don't know. We haven't. I don't. I don't think anybody's even written that word in like two months. Uh, so, Afrin's kicking in. I can feel my nose letting up. That's awesome. Okay, so love Biggs, but don't get notified when he does live feeds. I miss. I look every time Biggs does a damn live feed. I'm I'm usually taking a nap, and it's like, damn it. I need to set an alarm or something for his for his feeds because I love Biggs. He's an amazing, an amazing person. So we talked about a lot of amazing things. Uh, I said amazing a lot today. I haven't had coffee yet. Forgive me. English is hard. Um, we talked about a lot of things this the last few days, and um, apparently. I have helped out a lot of people. I posted a video yesterday. If you have not seen the video, go to the Abaddon and Polyon page and check it out. There's a video from a woman who talks about not being able to be broken, how she's whole um, or how everyone is whole. And um, it's an amazing video. I sat there with like dad gum tears in my eyes watching it. It was amazing, amazing video. A really positive, positive uh force in this universe is that woman right there so you need to go check it out i think it's either the cooler weather or upcoming time change oh i know right uh we're just not after a trio at denny's i want to go to denny's i want i want to go to denny's right now damn it I, i'm hungry I'm, I'm hungry and i want some coffee now damn it let's all go to denny's so that's what we're going to do next week. We're all going to meet up at Denny's for this. Instead of going live, um, we're going to go live from Denny's. How about that? Does that work? Um, somebody pick a restaurant, please. If you don't think I'll show up, you're insane because I will. <laughs> uh, good morning, Adam England. How are you? Courtney, you watched it and you balled your eyes out. I know, right? I'm telling you, it is a an amazing video. And... There's so many out there. I got caught on that dadgum. Um, uh, that was a positive. It was posted from a from a positive site or whatever. And I got caught on there looking at all kinds of stuff. I was like, wow. You know. Denny's did not give you IBS, woman. You know who gave you IBS? Your boyfriend. I'm just saying. I know you. We all know you, Cherry Snot. Don't even start. <laughs> it's haunting season yeah baby i know listen i was talking and i talked to boogie yesterday and i was like i was feeling a little down yesterday and i was like you know what it's sad because i don't have any friends talk to me friends don't talk to me no more and it's because it's haunt season and like i know it i know that they're out there just slam busy and sleep if they're not haunting they're sleeping they're sleeping in the haunting you know it's like it's insane right now and i know it and i'm like you just at least check and say hi you know but I'm doing good. Yeah, I'm doing great. Happy haunt season, everybody. Happy Halloween season. It's the third day of Halloween. We are having an amazing, amazing time. I am waiting on a callback right now um, to find out if I have to go to a fitting tomorrow for a reoccurring role. I'm, I'm hoping I get it, but you never know. I miss you too, Cherry. I really do. Uh, Joyster does check on me. That is awesome. And I do talk to Debbie. I love Debbie. So it's not like I've got everybody's missing me. Just there was just a few people that I miss talking to that that are just slam busy, you know. I could call me anytime. You can call me anytime. All right, let's get some hearts up. Let's get some shares up and let's uh, get motivated this morning. I need coffee. All right, so there's my hearts. I did my hearts. I did my shares. What do you got for me? Come on, there's eight of you in here. Who's Sharon? Sharon is Karen, Cherry Snot. Sharon is Karen. And, I, and I'm happy that you popped in and stayed for a little while this morning. That makes me very happy, Cherry. Um, we discussed uh, some of the Facebook analytics yesterday on how when people pop in a room, and this is not just for me, it's for any, if you follow anybody, if, if you're doing a live feed, you need to know this. If you just pop in a room, stay 10, three to three to 10 seconds, it gives them a three to 10 second view, but it gives the, the, the retention rate is poop. So it actually hurts to pop in say, Hey, and leave it shows support, but it, it actually hurts their numbers. 
and gets them to where they can't be as as seen on the on the profiles. They change the damn analytics again. You know how it is. So thank you for sharing, Mrs. Mrs. Cherry Snot. Did you you pinch on my baby? You boo boo boo. <laughs> anyway, uh, so there. Just got another cup. Debbie, you're rubbing it in my face. I haven't got any coffee yet. So sad. <laughs> And Courtney, I know y'all do. I know you do. I know that the people that come into my morning feed, I mean, there's there's between, what is it, between seven and ten of you guys um, that are here every morning religiously. Whether I'm on for ten minutes or if I'm on for two hours, you guys are in here, which is amazing. I um, always have to go out to share. I'm back. Welcome back, Sherry. Welcome back. And I, you missed it because I was like, thank you for sharing, Sherry. <laughs> I know it made you smile. Now go make your bed. Good morning, Kelly. I hate that Facebook keeps booting people off of the feeds. That's true. I hate it too. But yeah, and I hate that the fact that like I, yesterday, remember we were talking yesterday about the analytics with Facebook and how um, it only shows. Why? Why is my camera only showing my ceiling? Holy shit! <laughs> I just realized that. <laughs> That's my ceiling, y'all. <laughs> Good morning, Adam. Yeah, not only do they boot up people out of the room, but they also freaking, um, they, um, they only show so many people. Like when you share and I share and everybody shares, it only shows like a percentage. It's like a one to 3% of your followers get see your actual fucking post. It's like ridiculous. I said, oh, I said the F word first time this morning. No coffee in me and only said it once this morning in 19 minutes. I'm doing good. Or actually 10 minutes. I'm doing good. I'm doing amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyway, so, yeah, Facebook has a huge problem with their analytics and how they work uh, with the live streaming platform. But uh, they're, they're forever changing them. So hopefully maybe one day they'll get it right. Uh, my, fan, my, my daughter is fangirling out. Say hi to Alyssa. Well, hello, Alyssa. Good morning. How are you? My camera is showing my ceiling. Are you fangirling at my ceiling? Are you? <laughs> Thank you, Cherry. Thank you so much. So I've seen at least 20, uh, so at least 20 senior posts, 10 per page. Yeah, that's right. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you can have 5,000 fans and, and you share something and, and five people see it. It's like, oh, my gosh. 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 I did it. All the relic. Let's see who's in here. Let's see who's in here so we can talk directly here for a second. Cherry Snot is an amazing person. Cherry Snot is a Han actor um, who is also like charge of training and stuff like that at her haunt. And she is amazing. Go check her out. Check out her page. You got Joyster. Go check out Mr. Joyster. He is amazing. Jason Palmer Biggs the Clown. Let me tell you something about this man. If goodness could be wrapped in caramel, all right, and fall asleep on you, it is Jason Biggs the Clown. I freaking love this guy. Um, I am so honored to call him a friend. Barbie Nelson is a pain in the butt, but she's an awesome person too. Courtney and Debbie are always here every morning. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. And everybody else that's lurking in the background that I don't know who it is, good morning. And I pray that you have an amazing, an amazing day. So go to the go to the Abadonna Polyon page and check out the video I posted yesterday. That is what we're going to kind of talk about this morning. It is it's, it's an amazing video. It really is. I should have saved it and then just played it on the feed this morning, but Eh. Oh, look, Trixie's still here, too. Hello, Trixie. Oh, my God. Trixie, I have to tell you something funny. I have to tell you something funny. I tried to comment on your thing uh, on the post on Funny Bones the other day about you being um, um, Rainbow Right, picking on you. And apparently, back in the day when all this crap was going on, I had blocked your page, and I, did, I didn't know. So when we went through that one day at CreepyCon to make sure that everybody was unblocked, you totally skipped over your own page. I had to unblock you yesterday. <laughs> you sat behind my computer and looked at the list of names and did not see yourself on there. 
I was dying. I was like, this girl here. Mm-mm. That girl. All right. Anyway. That was hilarious. Hey, you've helped me a lot. So I appreciate why well, I appreciate you, Courtney. Uh, good morning, Lori. Um, I am, uh, I'm glad I was able to help you. And I want y'all to understand something. You help me just as much as I help you, especially with these feeds. When we talk about, uh, the way to handle things in a positive manner in this industry and in the world in general, um, and how to keep negativity down to a minimum in your life, how to deal with anxiety and depression and, and, and everything. I, I, you guys are amazing and there's just no other way to put it. So <laughs> Jason says, me fall asleep. Never, never. I can see him. He's, he's, he's rolling his eyes. He's looking left and right going, never. <laughs> so you didn't, but you notice he did not, he did not say that he's not wrapped in caramel. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh geez life is way too short keep love in your heart absolutely absolutely and you can't change people places or things you can't you can't change what people do to you you can only control how you react to them so there are going to be people out there that are temporary people in your life you think they're going to be permanent people but they're not they're temporary people and that's okay and you can't control how they treat you and you can't control how they're going to act when you um, have to walk away from their presence. And it's okay. It's okay. But there are also permanent people in your life that are going to be there forever. And those are the people you need to invest in and really, really care for. And that would be you guys. I know. I know, Trixie. I tell them all the time. Pancakes. Pancakes. That's why when we went to have dinner, I took him to a steakhouse because I said, Dad Gummit, if you're gonna if you're gonna face plant, you're gonna do it into some real food this time, buddy. <laughs> I love that guy. Uh, let's see. My daughter and I are, are and I are making plans to come see you, saving money, etc. Hell yeah, Courtney, that would be amazing. I would love that. Um, anytime, come down to New Orleans whenever you want. I will take y'all out on the town. Absolutely. Good morning, Leanne. Uh, thank you for your comments on TikTok. That was awesome. And I think Instagram too. Don't let others influence who your friends will with either uh, be your own person and make your own decision. Absolutely 100% Cherry. I have always said, and I've been very, very strong about this since I was a child. If you, if someone wrongs my friend, Okay. Now I, there's people out there that aren't like this and it's okay, but let's just say, for example, somebody really, really, really screws over Jason Biggs. Okay. They really hurt his feelings. They, they steal from him. They do something to, to, to Jason. Okay. If they did that to him, I'm not going to be friends with that person anymore. I'm not going to have anything to do with that person anymore because if they'll do it to them, they will do it to me. I, you understand what I'm saying? My loyalty lies with my friend. And and you can't tell me that I have to be friends with somebody or I can't be friends with someone at all. I'm a grown ass man, right? So in this world, we have people out there that are like, well, um, yeah, I, I know that he killed your dog and stole all your money out of your bank account and wrecked your car and set your house on fire, but he didn't do anything to me. So... Well, I can't, I can't, I can't say anything. You, you've said enough. You've said that you are a temporary friend for me and then I need to walk away from you too. I get it. No problem. So pay attention to your surroundings and what people say around you and how they act around you. If they're, if they will refuse to walk away from someone who is like that, then they've made their decision for you. That's oh, awesome. You know, life has a way and the universe has a way of revealing itself to you on who you need to be around and who you don't need to be around. So that is amazing. Cherry Snot, you get, uh, you get top kudos for right now because you've thrown out some very, very amazing stuff this morning. Let's just say you made my daughter jump up and down and squeal. Absolutely, Courtney. I'm telling you. I I'll tell you what, Courtney. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. After we get off the live feed this morning, if your daughter would like, and she's going to be around, I don't know if she's going to be around around 8 o'clock or so, 8.15, and somewhere between 8 and 8.15, if you're still around, I will call y'all, video call y'all after the show, if she would like. Hmm. 
let's see. Until the wheels fall off. I, you know, I'm normally the same way, but I used to say, I used to say that I'm like, I'm ride or die till the wheels fall off. Well, sometimes the wheels fall off way before you think they're going to. Sometimes, uh, sometimes you have to uh, walk away from situations. Karma is real good and bad. Make sure that karma is your friend, not your enemy. The bitch is brutal. Absolutely. Absolutely. And if you're always trying to be the best person you can be, and you're in and you're doing your best to be a good person then that will carry you through you will be able to to the people are going to look and people are going to be like hey you know that yeah blah 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 and um and they're going to be like uh wait hold up you know cherry snapped this wait hold up she, are, are you talking about cherry yeah well n no you're crazy because cherry's a really good person you see what i'm saying so you can let your morals and your um, your character carry you through situations as well. So, as long as you're a good person. If you're a crappy person, then you can't do that. She gets on the bus at 7.50, though. Oh, well, I'll tell you what. Courtney, message me this afternoon after she gets home from school. Message me, and I will call y'all this evening. Will that work? Uh, Trixie, are you around your kids this morning or can I say a dirty word? Am I allowed to say a dirty word this morning, ladies and gentlemen? Because I've got a saying that, that someone told me that I saw in a video later. It was like, it stuck with me. <clears throat> Lissa says Saturday morning, please. Okay. That works for me. I will call y'all Saturday morning. Just remind me. You have to remind me. If you do not remind me, I won't do it. So you have to remind me. Okay. But I'm a man of my word. As long as you remind me, I will call y'all Saturday morning. Absolutely. Absolutely. I will call y'all video. I will video call and we will chat. Excellent. Carson, good morning. How are you? Welcome to the show. Welcome to the welcome to the morning show. I'm at the oncologist ther thermatologist. It's a hematologist. I thought that said thermatologist. I was like, what the hell is a thermatologist? But it says hematologist this morning and you can say dirty words if you want good morning sarah webb sarah webb let me tell you something about sarah webb she's amazing but she is a pickle thief okay listen runs around steals pickles but she's an amazing person has a great uh videos and everything so go check her out but anyway yeah so i just made her day absolutely i, I will call y'all saturday morning i promise you Let's see, I'll make a point not to downgrade anyone, no matter if they hurt me or not. Just a personal belief. Two wrongs, am I right? But that's absolutely right. Like I said, you can't control people, places, or, or people, places, or things. You can't control what people do to you. You can only control how you react to them. And reacting in a positive way shows your character better. Uh, you know, we all want to strive to be the best person we can be. And life puts us in a lot of situations um, that is hard, that, that is hard to deal with. It makes us angry, makes us nervous, makes us upset, depressed, so on and so forth. But learning different coping mechanisms that will help us through uh, difficult times and having people around us that can help us through uh, difficult times, uh, it makes life a little more bearable, a little easier to handle. Let's see, do you work in a haunted, haunted woods or house? Uh, no, I'm an actual actor actor. I work in TV and film. Um, I do cameos at haunted houses, but I'm not gonna be doing one this year. I was supposed to be going up to Arx Mortis this year for a cameo, but I've got some stuff, I've got some shoots that I have to do. So I'm not gonna be able to uh, work a haunted house this year. I also do cameos at um, conventions and so on and so forth. But lots of fun. Oh, what are friends, hi. You're getting a younger fan base. That's awesome, Courtney. I have no problem with that. My uh, biggest fan, other than myself, is my 10-year-old daughter and her friends. All, you know, we, we do stuff all the time together. We do makeup, and I teach. Uh, I'm teaching the younger people in the neighborhood stuff how to do special effects makeup, and uh, I have makeup artists that I fly in from uh, Arizona, and I have another one that comes in from New Orleans, from downtown, because I live right outside of New Orleans. Um, and we teach the kids how to do uh, special effects, makeup, and all that stuff. We have we have a pretty good fan base in real life. This whole online thing has been new to me for about a lot, like the last year. So, 
we have a decent fan base. We have like 3.3K on the fan page. And then we have uh, Lover, I think, I think we're close. We're getting close to 4,000 on the Cult of Fools page. So, yeah. It was awesome. And like I said before, who was Megan from the uh, No Mask? Oh, huh. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't wear a mask when I, when I make my video calls. I, I, I'm a firm believer that you should be able to have face to face with me as a person. Um, I need to talk your head off. Barbie will talk your head off. There's no doubt about that. She is a talker once she gets to know you. But yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Courtney, we'll call you Saturday morning and um, it'll be me. It'll be me, Todd Cook calling you. You know, the, the actor behind Abaddon. The person that does the audio feeds in the morning. We'll have a nice talk. So, real quick, let me tell y'all real quick. Uh, good morning, Kathleen. Um, y'all know you can go to abaddonapollyon.com which is the official website, abadonapolyon.com. And we've got our Patreon there, our donations, our store, links to Cult of Fools, uh, store, all that good stuff. You know, we're going to be out in, our shirts are going to be in Spencer's Gifts and other stores across the United States here pretty soon. Uh, lots of fun to do. But let me tell you about the Patreon real quick. The Patreon is to help support us going to conventions and getting more equipment, so on and so forth. If you become a Patreon subscriber, you get you get added into the Abaddon, Apo Abaddon Apollyon Premium Facebook page and account and chat, where you get one-on-one -on -one chats with me. Um, you get uh, you get to see all of the artwork, all the videos, and everything up before anybody else does. Um, it's actually pretty cool. As well, next year we're going to be doing a contest where one person, the top supporter of the for the term of the contest, will get a free vacation to New Orleans. A weekend in New Orleans will fly you out Friday. You will um, you will get a hotel for Friday and Saturday night, and we'll fly you back Sunday. So you'll get to come to New Orleans for the weekend and hang out with me and a couple other people, and we will have a blast and take you out on the town. So that's going to be going on next year, but only on for, only for the Patreon subscribers, top supporter. So there is that coming. That's going to be fun. We have another contest that we're going to be doing at the end of the year, which is going to be amazing as well, but I can't release those information yet. Lori, you go back to sleep and you have an amazing day. Get you a good nap in, wake up, stretch, get you some coffee and take on the day. We know you can do it. Yep, so we've got all that going on. Um, Cult of Fools, uh, Chris and Susan are going to be in Rome. They're flying to Rome in two days. Uh, they're going to be in Italy for a little bit. So they're trying to get all of the other artwork out before they uh, go. Um, and apparently um, Spencer's, or I don't know if that's Spencer's, but some of the retail outlets have requested six more um People will be added. So I think we're going to be having some more people into the retail, which is awesome. Um, I know they're going to have socks uh, for merchandise and something else. I'm not sure about the shirts, though. Uh, we'll find out. <clears throat> Saving your hot money for the contest for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a lot of it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, the lowest um, donation, I think, is well, I mean, you could donate one dollar a month. It doesn't matter. You can set your own donation up. But I think the lowest tier I have is five dollars a month, which equals out to about sixty cents a day. Um, which you know, it's not that much for somebody to do. But the more people that do it, the easier it is for me to hit conventions or do the contest and get people over or stuff like that. So it's a lot of fun. You gonna keep an eye out for the contest? Hell yeah, Trixie. Look, I gotta tell you this too, Trixie. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and throw this out there. A lot of people don't know this. Uh, we talked to Biggs about it yesterday. Um, next year, at uh, some point next year, probably midwinter, fall, maybe even spring, I don't know. We're going to be getting some of the actors together. I know me and Biggs are getting together. I think uh, Joyster might come. I don't know. I don't know who all's coming because um, we haven't even worked out where yet. But we are. I'm going to rent a cabin. I am going to rent a cabin in the mountains by a lake or something for about a week. And we're going to get a group of people together, a group of actors together, and hang out for a week doing nothing but chilling and fishing and just chilling out sitting by a fireplace and talking hanging out and and going fishing and nothing haunt related nothing horror related just just us 
you know, friends chilling out of the cabin for a week. So I'm going to buy the cabin and then everybody else can bring the food and, and the booze and the coffees and the stuff like that. We're going to be doing that next year. Um, I'll get with you because, you know, you and Kool-Aid are invited. Uh, I'm going to make it if I have to sell my arms. Uh, well, I mean, if you sell your arms, I'm sure we can get somebody to pour the coffee down your throat. <laughs> You don't like fishing, Jerry? But Jerry, if you don't come, we can't use you as the bait. I'm just kidding. Good morning, Ariana. Good morning. You're late. You're late to the feed. She's late. She's late. She's late for an important date. No time to go. No time to wait. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. Just kidding. Uh, good morning, though. But yes, yes, we're gonna do. We're gonna go out in the, and get a cabin with some with fireplaces and a front porch we can sit on and. And wrap in blankets and drink coffee and watch the crisp, cool mornings and watch the sunrise over the mountains and and go fishing and just chill out and do bonfires or something. We're gonna we're gonna just have a good time, man. We're gonna have an awesome time. It's gonna be great. You don't have to go fishing. You can go sit on the front porch, Cherry. Oh yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna talk. I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the core people, which is right now it's me and Biggs. I'll get the core people when we decide who who we're going to bring and everything, and then we will uh, we'll discuss the who we're gonna who we're gonna invite and stuff like that, and we'll get it all down. Um, I'm pretty sure that they're gonna the Biggs is gonna invite uh, Trixie and Kool Aid anyway, uh, so I'm gonna throw them in there, throw them in the mix anyway. So I'm gonna invite them, Dagummit. So we'll see what's gonna happen. We might even. Uh, Around what month? I have no idea, yet, Cherry. Um, I don't. We we have only discussed it. Jason says he's down. I'm down, and so that's all we know. Next year. <laughs> Next year, we gotta get a little money up first. I spent way too much money on conventions this year, so you and Cherry can braid each other's hair while the men boat fish. Hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah, wait. Y'all can do our nails when when uh when when we come back from fishing. You you can do our nails, our toenails, give us pedicures. That'd be awesome. <laughs> and this is how you do a French tip. And this is how you do a talon. And this is how you do a three three inch claw. <laughs> uh. Jerry, Barbie wants to know if you're going to HauntCon this year. HauntCon is an amazing convention. Um, I have canceled everything for the rest of the year for because I have film shoots. Um, and I have some other stuff going on as well. And I'm getting prepared for next year's film shoot, which is huge. A uh, huge deal. I cannot wait to get started on that. And as soon as I get started, I, I, I think I can release what it is once we get started filming but i'm not sure um i hope so good morning donna good morning i hope everybody's having an amazing morning this morning look it's already it's almost been an hour we've been at 40 41 minutes and it doesn't even seem like it it's been a great morning this morning i'm all about tomboy and pretty weekends absolutely yeah well I might work it out to where we have, we know we've got the contest next year for the top supporter, but I might work it out where we do something else. I've got a, I'm gonna have a secondary contest. I know I am, I already kind of know what it is, but I can't release those details yet until we get all the legalities out of the way. Um, but I'm thinking, and I'll go ahead and well, I'm gonna say something. It might involve flying a fan to a convention with a group of actors. It might. We have to see about the legalities first. So I've got the I've got the company lawyer and the Abbott Auto Polygon lawyer and the management team working on all that right now to figure out exactly what we can do. But we know that we can fly some down somebody down for the weekend uh, next year. Top supporter will be flown down and hotel um, in New Orleans. We know we can do that. That's going to happen. That's a definite. So it's going to be awesome. We're going to have a lot of fun. I might be talking to a few other actors and see if they want to come down and hang out in New Orleans for that weekend as well. So top supporter next year for whatever the contest time frame is, top supporter will get one a vacation to New Orleans for the weekend. 
And like I said, I may talk to some other actors and see if they want to come down for the weekend so we can hang out all together and go to the dungeon and go to Bourbon Street and and uh, hit the Aquarium of the Americas and the River Walk and the Garden District and and all the fun stuff, all the fun stuff. And if we hang around one night until like 4 a.m., we can play Kick the Rat. <laughs> We already have access to a private balcony on Bourbon Street. So that we'll, we'll have that access already. And we also have VIP at a few different different um, bars and stuff. So we get to go in and have our own little roped off area and stuff. So that'd be nice. That'd be fun. I'll be at that thing in January in New Orleans with Gravedigger at the Haunt Crew. I know I'm coming. I'm coming. Um, you've got to remind me uh, when it is, but I am definitely driving to the town. Cause I'm, I'm, you know, I live right outside the city. I'm coming down and seeing you guys. I'm seeing you and I really want to meet Gravedigger. Good morning, Nick Brown. Nick Brown, how are you? Good morning. So yeah. I'm definitely coming in January to whatever the haunt thing or whatever the convention thing you're going to. I don't remember what it's called. I'm definitely going. Oh, dude, Kick the Rat is an amazing fun game, but it's it's a real true game. People do not understand. In New Orleans, they have rats neutral rats basically they're big ass rats and at about four or three three or four a.m in the morning they start coming out of the gutters on bourbon street because of all the crap on the streets and everything it's a it's a literal game called kick the rat and you go and you kick the rats off your shoes now you're not kicking them like you're not punting them across the road or anything like that but you walk through you start at one end and you have to go all the way down bourbon street without getting your shoes bit <laughs> it's true it's a true game all right <coughs> you just bring your cats oh my god look i'm telling you what you don't want to bring your cats have you do you not know what a neutral rat is you need to look up what a neutral rat is um yeah the the rats are as as large as small cats they're they're the size they're 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 the, the size of opossums basically they're big Yes, you should wear still toes. Absolutely. <laughs> I ain't scared. I'll wear flip flops. I'm just saying. Yeah, these rats like possums. Yeah, no joke. There's no joke. Yep, the size of a football. That's about like a neutral rat. Yeah. Just type in neutra. Neutra rat. You'll see. They look like beavers. They really do. So it's the 17th and 19th. What is the 17th and 19th, Barbie? You're not giving us much, much information there. You're just coming out with dates. It's the 17th and 19th. What what month, what year, what event, what you doing? What are you talking about? <laughs> Courtney says, that's a big nope. She is not staying till 4 a.m. on Bourbon Street. That's not going to happen. People do eat them. That's right. They are, they, are, they are food to the swamp people, to the swamp rats. Yep. <laughs> wait, wait, you're not scared of animals or reptiles or bigs. You're not scared of bigs the clown? I'm not scared of bigs the clown either. Why would you say you're not scared of <laughs> We love bigs. Wow. Oh my god. Oh, you want one big Kool-Aid won't let you? I want a what's it called? A Phoenix Fox? I want a Phoenix Fox and I want otters. I want otters. When I build my forever home, I'm putting in a water feature and I'm going to find otters. I want otters. Oh, your baby's fall break? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Bugs. You said bugs. I thought you said bigs. I'm just saying, why the hell would you be afraid of bigs? He's an amazing person. <laughs> You want a hairless? Don't you already have one? <laughs> oh God! Why is it everything gets naughty when Cherry gets in the room? Our our live feeds are so positive and so nice and so family friendly. And Cherry comes in the room and it just all goes to poop. <laughs> uh, oh, I love raccoons too. The only problem with having a pet raccoon is they get into everything. Hashtag get Abaddon an otter. I know. I know I want an otter. I want I want two. I want a couple otters, you know, because they need to have friends and hold hands while they float. Oh my god, they're so amazing. 
Yes, I love otters and I love Phoenix boxes. Absolutely. Yep, but see, like, I'm kind of strange though because I don't want them as pets, like Par se, you keep them in a cage and let them run around the house. No, I want them to, I want to build like a freaking pond on a river and, like, here, be free, just come and let me pet you every once in a while. You know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to let them like, here, live here. But here's food. You, here, I'm going to feed the shit out of you so you stay. You know? I would love it. The way I'm designing my house is uh, the forever home is a concrete home with two stories and roof access. And on the roof of the place is where I'm going to be putting my hydroponic garden. And my birds, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have chickens and stuff, um, and I'm putting them on the roof. They're gonna actually be caged up in a in a certain area, and in, in, in a in an actual, uh, it's it's gonna be a bird sanctuary on the roof, uh, with sod the whole nine yards. It's gonna be pretty pretty cool, but I'm doing that because I plan on having foxes and whatnot and different uh, animals running around the ground, and I want to keep my birds safe, but uh, as well. Um, I'm going, the first thing we're going to do once we find the land is we're going to be cutting down the majority of the trees and we're going to be putting in walnut trees, uh, or not walnut, um, pecan, um, um, yeah, walnut, pecan, um, apple trees, orange trees, whatever, whatever trees will work in the, in the, in the vicinity that produce fruits and nuts. So we will also be planting a crap on of blueberry bushes, uh, blackberry area, we're going to be putting in a lot of food plants in the on the property before we even start building and let them start growing up. So as they grow and as the time goes by, um, not only will we have sustainable food sources on the property, but we'll also uh, encourage more wildlife to come to the property so we can, of course, you know, hunt, but also enjoy them. I love animals. I would never hurt an animal just for sport. I'm not going to go out there and kill a bunch of squirrels and then just let them rot on the ground. I mean, if I'm going to if I'm going to hunt, I'm going to use everything of the animal. Um, I have Native American background, and I believe that you should honor the animal and that they're they are they are there to provide love and sustenance. Anyway, oh god, I've got so many good plans. Maybe in this case, it might be better to ask for forgiveness than ask for permission. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. And absolutely. Okay, know that and raccoons well, all went wild. I know someone trying to get one away right now. I told them just let it go in the woods far away from home. So I told them, absolutely. Well, you can do that. Um, the, you know, the problem with having wild animals that you feed is they do get semi domesticated and then other people don't realize it and they end up the animals end up getting hurt. But, and I hate that. Very snot is a, is a hobbit house. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you could do that. Dewberry rescues it. I'll have dewberry rescues if you want. Wow, what is a dewberry rescue? I, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. What is that? Dewberry, there's one. Uh, it's, uh, it's crazy. I swerved to avoid a caterpillar one time. Oh my God. Terriana. <laughs> he swerved to miss a caterpillar. How the hell did you see a caterpillar when you're driving down the road? Unless you're driving like a grandmother. I'm usually driving at like 900 miles per hour. So I'm lucky to see a deer, much less a damn caterpillar uh doo -doo 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 -doo. i'm a wild crafter you want some tips absolutely i want some tips uh what am i missing here um i still want to know what that thing is sorry but i don't swear for animals i have full coverage and no shit <laughs> um i want to know what a dewberry is what's a dewberry rescue i know what it is what's a dewberry Oklahoma had some big caterpillars. I bet it did. It had to be the size of a daggum horse for me to see it. I'm not kidding you. I run like 60 to 60, at least 60 miles per hour where I go. It's the season of 35. I'm doing 60. I'm just saying. Uh, oh, okay. Dewberries are cousins to blackberries. Oh, okay. Okay. I know what it is now. Dewberry. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. I bet you do, Cherry Snot, you weirdo. Um, yes, yes, absolutely, yeah. Um, I'm going to be looking for 
And I don't remember the name of it. We looked it up the other day and I can't remember it. But I'm going to be looking for a horticulture, a horticulture person, I think is what it is. Um, I don't know what to call. I'm going to be looking for a person that understands um, not only the different uh, plants, but where to plant them and so on and so forth. I'm going to have somebody come out and actually plan out my property. Uh, I want an orchard. I want an actual, um, you know, like I said, pecans, walnuts, uh almonds whatever 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 food bearing uh tree or bush i can have and i want them in the correct area i also, also want you know i'm gonna have the hydroponic garden on the top but i also want to have a garden area or like corn and stuff like that not in big but big enough that i will have um like i said sustainable food um that i can not only uh use for myself but you know go and 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 whatever community I'm in, I will extend out to certain families that they can come and, and get stuff out of the, out of the, you know, um, garden, whenever they want. I'll have like a little community garden. So probably right down by the road or something, but yeah, I'm going to have to get with, uh, I want to say it's a horticult horticultural horticulturalist, but I can't think of the name of it. Um, you have to have poison ivy within 500 feet of a berry family. Yeah. Exotic plants from Indonesia and in, in a greenhouse. That's cool, Nick. That is really cool. I do want a greenhouse. Um, we have discussed uh, me and because uh, you know I do everything through my management team and everything, and I have discussed wanting a greenhouse and what size I want. And right now we're trying to discuss uh, if we want it attached to the house or not. Because I have to get all these. I've got the basic blueprint set up, but I have to send everything out. And we're going here pretty soon to look at property. Um, I found some property right outside of Chattanooga that I'm really interested in. We actually have to go walk the property, look at it, and see if it's gonna gonna work for for everything I want. Because I've got a, a I've got a pretty specific set of of, of things that I want. Uh, so do you like coffee? Get Kentucky coffee bean trees. Well, really, really, that sounds interesting. I'm gonna have to look that. Message me that so I can do some research on it. Is my zen area it's awesome absolutely dude I, I kind of want um and this is what i was talking about with uh the person that i was talking about earlier i can't remember the name of what they are horticultural or whatever uh we were talking about doing a greenhouse but i also was thinking about doing a greenhouse in aviary aviary av 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 doing like a bird room and nothing big like i used to have my calls and stuff but i'm thinking like uh having a large a larger greenhouse attached to the house and have uh, like parakeets in it or something, you know what I mean? Like, or maybe some finches or something, I don't know. Having some type of birds in there as well. When I was a teen, my family lived on 46 acres in, okay, BF nowhere. We had a fishing pond, meat and egg chickens, goat, horses, ducks, and a bunch of dogs and cats. Absolutely, I mean, I, I used to live on a farm too when I was a kid. Um. And I really enjoyed it. I'm not going to do a full farm, but what I want more what I want to do is I just want to create an area that is self-sustainable um, with fruits, berries, nuts, trees. Um, you know, fruits, berries, nuts, garden, and uh, and if we do it correctly, it will also bring in. Uh, botanist. That's it. Thank you, Courtney. Thank you so much, botanist. I have been talking to a botanist. Um, and she owns a, a large greenhouse where they actually sell, you know, they, they sell, um, plants and stuff. So I've been talking to her and she is a literal from college botanist. Um, that was pretty awesome. Oh no, it's okay. We're not, we're not necessarily PG. I dropped the F-bomb every once in a while. I'm just trying to clean it up. Uh, I have found that, uh, Although I do curse a lot, there's no need for it in a lot of conversations we have. So I try to keep it clean. But no, that's fine. You're fine. You're fine, Ariana. You're fine. But yes, I want to talk to a botanist. I want to talk to a couple other places too. I've been talking to an animal rescue, um, an animal rescue uh, organization that is United States wide. They are um, an amazing group of people. And we've been talking to them about doing um, releases uh, once I get the property, because we're going to get a pretty decent sized property, but doing releases on the property as well, giving the locals where, wherever I buy the property, 
um, whatever state I buy it in, but giving them uh, an area to release, uh, you know, birds, foxes, whatever the, whatever the hell on the property. It will not be a sanctuary because I do eat animals, but it will not be open hunting grounds for everyone to hunt on. You know what I'm saying? So it will be a semi-sanctuary. I think that's what they're called, semi-sanctuaries. In other words, they'll be safe from everybody but me. <laughs> uh, and and I honestly, I don't go hunting that often. I, think, I don't think I've been hunting in the last three years. Um, as much as I would love to, I haven't been hunting in the last three years. And if I did go hunting, it would be in uh, you know hunting land, like places designated for actual hunting. I don't think I'd hunt on my own property unless um, there was a situation where I needed to have food and didn't have any money, which is would be really weird. If you really want to get into wild crafting wise, talk to Jerry Saldago. Sal Sal Mansell, she works with OSU, OSU to test nutrition contents on wild foods. That's pretty cool. Thank you. Thank you, Courtney. Oh, I know. Yeah, if you just yeah, exactly, Nick. That's what that's what we were talking about with the uh with the the wildlife uh, rescue people. If you plant the right food, if you plant the right things on your property, you will attract different animals. And um, so that's what we plan on doing. From I'm going to rip down all the trash trees, and we're going to put in pecan trees and walnut trees and oak trees. We're going to. I mean, I'm sure that there's going to be oak trees already there, so that won't be an issue. Um, but things, trees that do trees and plants that do attract animals. Um, blackberry bushes. I'm going to put blackberry bushes everywhere because birds love blackberries, and so do squirrels and a couple other uh, small animals. And um, yeah, so we're going to be attracting the animals to the to the. I love sitting on the porch and watching animals. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Well, we had a great day today. We had some really amazing people pop in the room. We, I've, I've enjoyed sitting here talking to each of y'all. Um, once we do get the property set up, I will be inviting people out and uh, to come hang out and check it out and everything. I need coffee. Yes, Nick, I need coffee. I've got to get coffee soon. It's going to happen here in a minute. Um, there are certain plants that keep mosquitoes. Well, yes, citronella, and there's a few others. Yeah, we'll be planting all kinds of stuff. You want deer sumac, uh, berry bushes are great. Absolutely. Uh, Cherry Snot, I'm not scared of snakes. I don't, I, I, snakes do not scare me at all. Um, I have no problem relocating snakes away from my, my house or whatever, and they don't bother me. Uh, don't get turkeys if you have chickens. Turkeys will, some kind of game germ thingy, something immune that will kill chickens. Oh no, I know. <coughs> Ariana, my chickens will be on the roof of the of the actual house we have a i have a coop uh a, a bird atrium coop that we've talked about building on top of the house it'll be on the top of the second story house um for my chickens and i'm only going to have enough chickens to provide me with eggs uh basically um yeah so that's that's going to be something we're going to have but it's going to be on top away from everything because I do plan on having wild foxes and so on and so forth running around. Any main plants that I eat and use for meds? Absolutely, Courtney. Um, I'll message you right now. Uh, do, 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 do. You know the best thing about um, this whole platform and everything is I don't have to stay on for an hour. I can stay on for as long as I want because it's my page and because I have unlimited internet now. <laughs> I'm a hunter. I'm a fisher. I'm a. I. I. I, uh, I, I love. I've got a garden in my yard. As much as I work, I mean, I'm. I'm always working. I work seven days a week. Um, when I do get a moment to go sit down, I like sitting on the porch, um, and relaxing. I like going out and. I, man, I, man, this year, my bell peppers were insane. This year, I had. Oh man, I want to say I probably them plants probably put off uh, 200 bell peppers this year, and out of maybe 15 plants, I mean it was insane how many bell peppers I got this year, and it got me so excited because I love bell peppers. So when we were talking about building the house, we were talking about um, you know it's a, it's a it's a poured concrete home, 
We were talking about doing different things from earth ship design to this, to that, and the other. And, uh, yeah, man, I can't, I can't wait to get all this going, uh, which we're, we're going to be doing this within the next eight years. My child is 10 years old. We want to be able to move in by the time she's 18. So I'll be buying the property within the next year or two, and then we'll be building, um, so we can move in by the time she's eight years old or 18 years old. Uh, but you can poke holes in dog food cans and throw them in the lake beds and leave for a few days and go back and catch the hell out of catfish. That's true. It's illegal. Oh, I didn't know it was illegal. What I do when I had my, when I lived, used to live on a, on a river and uh, we had a small pond and we had a river is I went out and just bought cat food, catfish food, which was really cheap at the cat at the uh, tractor store. I mean, it was literally like, um, I want to say it was like $4 for a 50 pound bag or something. It was insane. So I bought a big trash can and I bought this catfish food and I took it down there. And every day I'd go down and just throw a big scoop out in the middle of the pond and, or, and, and then down by the river. And I'm telling you, after about a year of doing this, I could walk down there. And by the time I walked down, they would be rolling on top of the water, waiting for the, waiting for the food. They got used to it. And I had some monster catfish. And it, I mean, I, I literally, I would just, I would, instead of throwing a whole scoop out, I would throw two or three pieces out and they'd start rolling and I'd reach down with a net and pick them up and didn't even have to have a fishing pole. It was awesome. Good morning to Bobo the Clown. How are you? Good morning. Good to see you. It, it, that looks like Sumac. Is that Sumac? What is that? Uh, Courtney's sending me pictures of her plants, which is really awesome. Guys, I love receiving pictures in the morning of things that make you happy sunsets sunrises um animals and plants i love receiving pictures in the morning so just to let everybody know who's reading that okay crappy crappy fishing with a boat with chad light school yeah absolutely um, when I live on the, you know, I live on the Gulf Coast, uh, right outside of New Orleans. We have the Gulf of Mexico here, and um, we go flounder fishing. We go throw the nets for shrimp and crab, and we've got seafood is easy to get down here. Um, but when I do my forever home, we're going to be going in the mountains. So I'm going to be looking for a property that has a nice overview. Um, the first one is Lamb's Quartz. I got you. Um, we're going to be looking for a nice view, but we also want to be either have a water feature on the property or very close by. So a river, lake, pond, something. Uh, I prefer a river uh, simply for the fact that we can run a micro hydro generator system in the river and create power for the house. Or even a hydro generator system, maybe not, maybe not make a micro one, make an actual hydro generator system. I don't want to do berries. But it's an old pick. Oh, that's cool. So good morning, everyone. We are. Oh my God, there's Cherry. Oh. <laughs> you girl are special. She's using that app that has the big mouth and the big eyes. You know the filter. That's hilarious. You are a special woman. <laughs> uh yeah, I'm not. I'm that's why I'm gonna do a community garden. Um, that and I, I kind of want it's it's a it's it's not a wild garden, everything will be above ground, it'll be in boxes, so on and so forth. But I'm gonna do a community garden where I'll have a few people from the community that actually help take care of it. And if they help take care of it, then they can have whatever they want out of the garden. That way, I don't have to work it all the time. Uh, second one is dewberries, but it's an old pick. Third and fourth is yarrow. I don't even know what yarrow is, but I will research it. Yep. I, I plan on having a few different things. It's going to be awesome. Uh, I planted blueberry bushes last year on this property, and Mike cut them down with a damn lawnmower. <laughs> uh, we used to break okra in the summers when I was a kid. It sucked. You know, some of my fondest memories. Well, oh, I'd love a strawberry patch. Absolutely. Um, one of my fondest memories when I was a kid, even though it was rough on our fingers, was we used to shell peas with grandma and granddad. I mean, we'd have these big 
paper sacks and the big bowls and we'd sit there and watch TV and and um oh my nose. Um and shell peas and talk. And it's one of my fondest I mean, it was a lot, it was hard work. Her fingers would be sore by the end of the night and everything, but I'm telling you, um yeah, break okra, yeah. Uh we used to we used to sit there and shell peas all night long. And uh I'm telling you, man, it's a very fond memory and not a lot of not a lot of people do stuff like that anymore. And I want to create the or be able to create those memories with my future grandchildren or whatever. So this is this is very important to me that we we do this in a way where I can introduce not only my kids or my grandkids whenever whenever that absolutely happens. Um, because it's gonna happen one day. Good morning, James Kirby. We love Kirby. Um, I want to be able to introduce them to different animals, different plants, different stuff. Shelling peas and watching TV or listening to radio and and try to get back to some of the basics that I miss from when I was a kid. Um, it's it's one of the things I want to do. You know, it's going to be a amazing. Raw I'm a duck. Raw I'm a duck. That's another thing I want. Ducks. I want ducks. And I want otters. I want ducks and otters and foxes on my property. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. But no pickles though, because Sarah will come and steal my pickles. They come it. <laughs> All right. So we haven't done this. I haven't asked anybody in about an hour. If you haven't shared, please share this out. Like and comment and all that good stuff i'm gonna stick around for a little while because i ain't got nothing better to do i'm bored this morning i am gonna go make coffee in a minute though so you want to be my alfred you want to you, you want to be my alfred <laughs> uh that might happen joyster you never know i might get myself a butler i want foxes and bats absolutely james scurvy i want fennel foxes and i want otters you can have the bats We'll, I'll, I'll, I'll try to, we'll try to find a property for you that has a cave so you can have bats in the cave and then we'll build you a belfry and then you can have bats in the belfry <laughs> that'd be awesome I think you already have bats in your belfry though just kidding just kidding just joshing why did I see a mad face oh my gosh who's mad Urgh, are you mad put a cape on and then you can be super mad <laughs> Good morning, Tamara. We love Tamara. She is such a sweet, sweet person. And yes, I need coffee. I do need coffee. Coffee would be amazing. I need to go make some. I've only got to wear clown costumes. No tux. No tuxes. <laughs> I want coffee too, Tay. Let's go get some coffee. All right. You're too far away over there in Florida. Da -da. Florida. Da -da. Da -da. Um, I got off work last night, probably about, I don't know, between 1 and 2 a.m. And I went to sleep. I laid down immediately and I woke up at 7.19. So I was late coming to the morning feed. So I just ran right in here and logged on. I have not made coffee yet. So I will in a minute. You have bats in your attic. <laughs> just a couple, James. Just a couple. But that's okay. Some of the best people do. So what we've been talking about this morning, Tamara, is we've been talking about the forever home and the property and and making self-sufficient with with food plants and and trees and, and animals that we love. And we've just been having a general conversation this morning um, for the positive stuff. Go watch the video that I posted yesterday on the Abaddon Apollyon page uh, from the girl who mentions you cannot be broken because you are whole. It is an amazing video, and that's my pos positivity for the day, my positive feed for the day. So, uh, we've been just general talking. We've been talking about animals and plants, and and just friends hanging out. It's been a, it's been a very beautiful morning. You going too early? Yeah, I know. I get on at seven a.m. My feeds are at seven a.m. every morning. Um, or right around 7 a.m. If I can't make it at 7, then I do it at 10 a.m. Um, and it's it's been coming kind of a staple. We do it every morning, or at least I try to. I've, I've missed a couple days, but I try to. Um, a willow tree is a pure aspirin. I didn't know that. That is an amazing thing. That would be awesome. You really miss oranges? 
I don't know if we can grow oranges in the mountains. Um, I know we can down here where I'm at now, but I don't know if orange trees will last through winters. So we're going to have to make sure wherever we buy the property that um, we may have to put like a big ass greenhouse, like a huge greenhouse off of, off the side of the house and then put an orange tree right in the middle of it. That'd be awesome. <coughs> Magnolia trees are the bomb. They are they are also the state tree of uh, Mississippi, and grow wild there. It's pretty cool. They have nice flowers. Yeah. Oh, that's cool, James. No, no, no problem. No problem. I think I'm gonna start an evening feed as well. I just don't know what time yet. And the biggest thing is yes, a biodome. That's an awesome idea. Um. I think the I think I want to do it in the afternoons, but I don't know what time. And I don't want to commit to it until I get a more a more better schedule, a better schedule. But once I do, I think we'll do the live feeds in the morning, then we'll do a live feed in the afternoons, and I think that'll really help uh, with the, uh, growing growing the audience as well. Um, it'll be basically two different audiences. You know, you'll have different people can get on at night, and different people can get on in the morning. But it should be pretty interesting. And we're going to be really doing that before we start the contest next year for the free vacation to New Orleans. Once we uh, get ready to put that into motion, we'll have we'll have set up at least at least a month of doing two shows a day. I had a Texas star hibiscus and my grandmother hit me thinking it was weed plant. <laughs> That's funny. I have no idea what a Texas star hibiscus is, but apparently it looks like weed. That's funny. Um, Ariana, you would not die in a forest. You have too many friends that would come find you. You would live. I mean, all you'd have to do is just be like, oh my God, I'm lost. And then listen for, roar, I'm a duck. And then go towards that voice and you'd find me. Lots of fun, lots of fun. So, have you shared it out? Have you shared this feed out lately? Have you? Mm -hmm. Did you? Mm -hmm. Did you? No, the orange trees would. Oh, are you allergic to citrus? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> uh, cherish not, go to the doctors um, and please try to enjoy your day. Keep smiling. Because somebody needs to see that precious smile of yours. You're an amazing person and let the world see it. Kentucky coffee bean seeds. Those are, and they're grindable in their coffee. Are they actual like real coffee? Because I had planned on putting coffee plants in for real. Scurvy's the only weakness. <laughs> yes, James will make a, uh, uh, a, a, a scurvy safe zone for you that will have bats and foxes and no and no citrus plants no you're fine Courtney absolutely I love all the pictures I love all the pictures I have no problem with that um I will probably be messaging you and asking you about different uh plants that you have on there and whatnot and what they do's and stuff Yes, after you roast them. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, just, that is so cool. That is so cool. Yes, I want to make my own coffee eventually, too. That's really cool. How cool would it be to have our own brand of coffee that we actually grow the beans and process the beans? I mean, like, that would be really cool. Now they need tropical surroundings. A little bit of cold pretty much kills me. Yeah, I figured that. That's why if we did an orange tree, it'd have to be in one of the biodome things. Uh, a uh, climate-controlled biodome. That is an amazing passion to have, Courtney. Absolutely amazing passion to have. Oh, that's... No, that's cool. That is really, really awesome. Um, knowing these things is is amazing. Uh, you know, I joke around about the apocalypse all the time, but the truth is if, if there was an EMP attack, which is very likely 
in the United States. It's like an 80% chance, according to the, to the professionals that do risk analysis in the United States. If we had an EMP attack, people that understand plants and food are the ones that are gonna survive. It's crazy to think. Well, 90% of the population could not walk into a forest and live because they don't know what to eat. Don't do the poop method. I wouldn't drink. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. There's a there's a coffee. I don't know if y'all know this or not. I think Courtney must Courtney must know about it. The most expensive coffee in the world is a coffee bean that is fed to elephants and then pulled out of their poop and then cleaned and brewed. And it is fifteen hundred dollars an ounce of coffee. And it's poop coffee. It's like, uh, nope. No, I'm good. I, I don't think I want to drink that. It's It's been pooped. Yeah, if something's been pooped, I don't want to eat it. More people do need to be educated about survival. Uh, we had talked a few years back about starting a... I mean, even the boys, the, the, the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts, they don't even, they don't even do what 90% of what they used to do. We had talked about doing a retreat camp uh, back when I used to own the fishing camp, doing a retreat camp for people that uh, adults could bring their kids out. Adults could come and they could bring their kids and pay for a weekend and learn um, how to make your own fishing uh, gear with limited resources, um, uh, plant identification, animal identification, how to how to see where you know what a squirrel nest is, and you know like I mean just all kinds of different stuff with survival. How to uh, build structures, how to build um, 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 you know temporary uh, structures with the things around you, and I mean, all kinds of stuff. And we talked about doing all that stuff um, when it just never came to fruition due to financial situation at the time but we could actually do that now military touch base but not for real training yeah <laughs> yeah no more like um you know just just basic um basic wildlife basic uh survival techniques uh in the world You want the chance though that would be really cool Zo zombie survival training camp that'd be really cool yeah we yeah a, a lot of us uh i hate to even say this james but a lot of us older cat older cats did we grew up in knowing how to grow food and knowing how to hunt and knowing how to fish and knowing how to you know build tents and stuff and a lot of us knew that because that's what we did as kids but this whole new generation um i'm gonna say the last any, anybody that's 20 years and younger, even 30 years and younger now, um, a lot of them have no idea. They couldn't tell you the difference between a cherry or a blueberry bush and a poison ivy bush. You know what I mean? Um, and and it's and it's it's not sad. It's just the way the world is. But I think it would be a lot of fun to do a do a family camp that you know you come out and. Uh, you know, there's a there's a shooting range, uh, a bow and a bow and arrow and archery range, um, uh, fishing, hunting, um, tent making, uh, how to build fires, uh, how to create fires with flint rock, or or rubbing two sticks together. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, all kinds of stuff, uh, naked and afraid type of stuff, but with clothes, because there's a lot of you I don't want to see naked. Just saying. <laughs> Leaves of three, leave it be. Leaves a five, go get high. I'm just kidding. I don't do drugs. I don't smoke weed at all. I'm allergic to weed, honestly. But uh, <laughs> that's funny. There is a 600-acre retreat that has wild, wild crafting trails and lessons. That would be so amazing. That would be fun. Yeah, the youngsters don't know that stuff. Absolutely. I think it would be kind of fun. And it's something we might do with our, with our forever home when we build it. We might, might have an area, ded an area dedicated to stuff like that. But the main thing is, once I have my forever home built and we have the property and all that good stuff, instead of, because right now, like we're doing the contest where somebody can win a trip to uh, New Orleans for the weekend, uh, so on and so forth. But once we do that, we're, we're going to be having certain people. We'll have, I'll have a guest area, um, which we've already planned in. 
and people can come out and hang out for a week. You know, hey, where are you going to go? I'm going to go hang out at, you know, Abaddon's for a weekend and uh, have fun. And, you know, because I love having company. Oh, that'd be cool. Cobblebacked animals that do the doodles are freaking adorable. Yes, absolutely. You don't have a screen. These kids don't know what to do. That's true. No growing weed needed definitely Yeah, n yes, no weed near me. I am deathly allergic. When I was I was under high school, the hospital was literally about a block and a half from our high school. And I smoked a big fat joint. Actually, I took one puff off of a big fat joint when I was in high school and it closed my throat off before I could exhale the smoke. It closed my throat off. I coated uh, multiple times while in the hospital uh, like they drug me to the hospital I, I was literally blue and non-responsive by the time they got me to the hospital they uh, j-tubed me got finally got a tube they thought they were gonna have to trach me but they j-tubed me and got the tube down past the swelling of my throat and when they did the smoke came out I spent the next few months not weeks months in the hospital because I had lesions inside my lungs where my allergic reaction was inside my lungs so bad that uh, I had to be on a, um, I had to be put into a uh, medical coma with a breathing machine. I had to have a breathing machine because it damaged my lungs so bad um, just from one puff off of a joint. So yes, I'm a highly allergic. My girl, my ex-girlfriend, um, we broke up shit five years ago now. Um, she smoked a joint one day, came home and didn't wash her mouth and kissed me. And my lips swelled up to the point I had to go to the hospital and have my lip lanced. I had to actually cut my lip because they were afraid it was going to split open. Just because she kissed me after smoking a joint. Yes, I'm highly allergic to weed. Yep, highly allergic. This is as bad as an allergy of peanuts or strawberries. If they make, if they make weed legal in the United States, which they've done in certain areas... If they make it legal, I will have to carry an EpiPen. And and limit where I go. Which I already limit some places I go because people smoke somewhere I live. They don't care. I'm smoke driving down the damn road around here. There's certain parts of uh, New Orleans that I can't even walk through because they just they smoke out in public. They don't care. Uh, did you get the picture of that hibiscus? Yes, I did. Yes, I got the picture. Um, I looked at it for a second, but I was dealing with uh, a message from somebody else at the time. But yes, that's cool. So, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to be like a bubble boy. Absolutely. Yeah, if, they, if they legalize weed everywhere, I'm just going to stay at my house. I'm going to buy a bunch of property. I'm just going to stay in the forever home and not leave. <laughs> Unless I walk out of my own property. Hold on. <laughs> that sounds like a transformer. It's the bubble dawn. <laughs> oh, that's cool, Barbie. That's really cool. That'll be fun. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I, I understand the legal, the, the, the medical reasons for it. Um, I'm not opposed to it at all um, being legalized. I understand the medical reasons and I get it. Um, the The thing that I don't like, the only thing I don't like about marijuana is I have had friends that were like, oh, well, yeah, we blah, 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 blah. And they start smoking and now they are the biggest potheads in the world. And I don't like a pothead. Like, don't shove it down everybody's face. Oh, weed, oh, weed, 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 weed. That's all I can talk about. That's all they want to talk about. It's like, come on, man. There's more things in life than just that, you know. Good morning, Althea. Uh, Nick, I, I, I'm glad you found me as well. I'm glad you came in here. It's nice to make new friends, and we do this every morning, 7 a.m. Normally, we talk more about positivity things. Uh, for example, how to positively uh, deal with the asshole that cuts you off on the interstate, or how to deal with a person at work that's a, 
that's a jerk or uh, building self-worth uh, knowing your worth creating your worth knowing that you um, are deserving of respect um, stuff like that we, we really kind of key into it we try to bring a lot of positivity into the world in the morning to start our days off right um, I do it for some people say they I mean I've had a lot of people say that they really need it and they really enjoy it but I do it for myself as well I need to hear the things too uh, so I do my research and I, and I and that's what we talk about in the morning for predominantly um, I told uh, yesterday we talked about how if uh, if you really want to um, be somebody that's worthy go look in the mirror and people are like what and I'm like okay so let me explain something to you go in the bathroom right now look in the mirror you will see a person that has been through hell and back you've been through so much shit in your life that it is ridiculous and you're still standing that is worthy of praise that is amazing you know what I mean so people have gotten out of touch with being able to look in the mirror and love themselves and and you know being their number one fan and um yeah it is absolutely uh crucial in our life that we respect ourselves and we demand respect from others uh oh i thank you yeah nick actually thank you yeah i, I used to be a third scary face i i no longer am with scary face but i still respect and love the actors there um i am a positive demon that's why they kicked me out of hell and put me in the abyss. That's right. Um, <clears throat> I have nothing negative to say about them. I just, I'm no longer a part of them and I do my own thing. Um, it's easier to be independent in this world. And uh, when you, when you want to do your own thing. So, but I'm so glad you came by and I do hope you come by more. Um, Nick, we're going to be doing, we, we every morning, 7 a.m. If I'm not here at 7, I'll usually be around at 10. Uh, we're going to be working on getting a schedule for afternoon feeds as well. Um, we have upped our internet here to unlimited uh, gigabyte download, 500 megabyte upload. So I can literally broadcast seven days a week if I wanted to, 24 hours a day, seven days a week if I wanted to. So we're going to be doing a lot of broadcasts. We also do broadcasts on Mixer, which is just like Twitch. Uh, it's a live stream uh, site. It's Mixer.com. Uh, we, we broadcast on that pretty much every night. Um, and my channel is usually always up, except for Monster Cat is offline right now. Um, we are going to be doing a contest next year for a top supporter, top Patreon supporter. Uh, we'll, um, we'll get a free vacation to New Orleans for the weekend. I have to make graphics. Somebody please remind me once we get off here to make the graphic for the, for the, um, schedule. I need to add the schedule to our graphics. Um, yeah. Matter of fact, I, I need to go ahead and just open something right now so I can remember to do that because the schedule needs to be posted on every time. Uh, and we're going to do with a purple overlay for a while because we really like the purple overlay. So I think we'll open this one right here. Open with Paint Shop. Pro. Okay, I can't see the uh, comments or anything right now because I'm trying to open up a graphic. But we're going to be putting, the, I'll be adding the uh, schedule um, to um, the audio feeds. So I I did. Oh, you did find me on TikTok. Okay, so on Mixer it is um, uh, Abaddon Apollyon, A B A D D O N A P O L L Y O N, just like the website. Abaddon Apollyon. That's all you have to search for. Um, I did forget to put it on these graphics, so I will add that on the graphics as well. So, good looking out. I totally uh, forgot that too. So, let me get that on there as well. Um, let's just go ahead and start that now because I can broadcast as long as I want. Yo. And it doesn't matter if there's, if there's a million people in here or one person in here because I can broadcast this myself because I'm happy. <laughs> Okay, let's see here. Um, I could probably do this. Let me pull up my OBS. I do have a display capture. Let me put in another one. Display capture. Okay. Okay. And let's drop that down to 
right. Put that right there. So you can see what I'm doing. How's that feel? Does that feel good? Does that feel clean? Feel nice? Okay, good. So that way you know while I'm talking and if I get quiet, you know why. Right now I'm looking for my mixer PNG. Oh, I can add my mixer. I totally, totally forgot to put a mixer in there, didn't I? Didn't I? Why did I, did I say? Is it on he? Um, no. It's got to be under website then. Uh, new website graphics, maybe? Mm, nope. Oh, Lord, what did I do with this PNG? Website graphics, maybe. Um, I'm looking. I'm a looking. I'm a looking. What did I do with it? What in the? Where is it? Where do it be? Oh, I know where it's at. I made an actual mixer folder, duh. I know we're gonna find that folder, right? Twitch mixer, here we are. Okay. Mixer icon. So I'm gonna have to move that over. I'm gonna have to move, we're gonna have to redo a lot of this, unfortunately. Let's see, West Coast right, I could spend 200,000 gas and fix my truck first. Dadgum, where, how far away are you, Courtney? That's a, that's one hell of a, of a drive. Um, let's see here. We know we need it this size. Uh, do, 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 do. We're going to place it, but we're going to, we're going to... Delete. All of this. Okay. Let's uh, make sure we get it all deleted. Okay. Now let's go back to purple. Purple overlays. We'll drop this in. We'll drop this in. Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. Wrong button, Todd. There we go. We'll drop that in. That's about the same size there. And we'll drop this one in. And that's about the same size. I'm gonna actually make them smaller. I'm not sure. And then drop that in. Uh, it's Twitter. Where the hell is? Oh, there it is. And okay, so that's that's good. Let's see. Let's actually make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So anyway. Y'all are going to get to watch me make some graphics for a little bit and talk amongst yourselves. we I've really enjoyed today's feed and uh, hanging out with you guys. And I hope you hang out a little bit longer. Uh, you can watch me do some graphics. If y'all haven't, didn't know, I do graphics all the time for a lot of people. I make, I make tons of graphics. Um, I don't charge anybody if I decide to do them. Um, I just do it because I enjoy it. And that looks all about the same size. We should be pretty good there. Okay. Let's take Facebook. We'll do Facebook first. And we'll move these other things out the way. I'm missing one. What am I missing? TikTok. I'm missing TikTok. TikTok. Okay, where's TikTok? There it is. TikTok is huge.
All right, now the thing with TikTok is I have to... I have to stroke it. I have to stroke it. <laughs> I know that sounds dirty, but it's not, I promise you. I just have to uh, outline it or it will not be seen at all with the black background. Okay, so that's done. Now we need to put in the text. Um, official Abaddon Apollyon is the base book. Now we're going to. on this and then we're going to stroke with a slightly less I did two okay let me do this real quick uh, duplicate layer see what we're doing better okay <laughs> I come up we're gonna need to put this out no I guess that is equal um Ticket dark, ticket dark, ticket dark. And Twitter. And then I'm going to duplicate. Abaddon. This, that's actually really more pink than the other purple, isn't it? Yeah, it is. We have to change some stuff, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. Uh, let's get the mixer on there. And then the mixer is just Abaddon Apollyon. Happy. mixer on there that will work now we can stretch it just a little bit and we need to go through and change the color the outer glow needs to be more purplish there we go that looks a little bit better and then the stroke needs to be There we go. I like that better. Copy layer style. Paste layer style. Paste layer style. And now we're closer. We're closer. Closer, closer. All right, let's get you in here. I want you over here. And let's get you over here. 
because we want you in here too. I'll make you a little bit bigger. About like that. Put you over here. Okay. So that is the main information, right? Let's see. You're back feeling better. Are y'all talking to each other? You want a red little boy? Real? You want to be a real little boy? Oh my God! Popcorn's in the house. What up, popcorn? <laughs> oh, what's going on, buddy? Good to see you. Much respect and love, man. Absolutely. We love the popcorn. All right, let's see. We need to go in here and uh, save the crate layer. Schedule. Needs schedule. Schedule. I don't know which one it was. Shit. Uh, where's the budget to go? There it is. Um, let me move it so I can figure out where that. Oh God, that's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. I want you. Oh, good loud man. I'm my deaf clock. I'm not wearing my hearing aids. I'm wearing my headphones. So schedule. You will. I'll move that up top. And then we'll. Oh, Dang it, I did it again. I think that's some shit. Where is, where is, where is it at? There it is. Now. Dad gummit, you do it right this time. <laughs> we all have our crosses to bear, and mine is typing or picking the correct thing. Okay. Schedule. Did I spell that right? No, I did not. See? English. Bad for me. Schedule. S-A-H-E-D-U-L-E. I did spell it right. Oh, my God. <laughs> Go me. Go me. Go me. All right. So, all right. So, now here's the next one. Now I got to put it in here. Uh... Uh, daily, D-A-Y, D-A-I-L-Y, right? Is that correct? Look at me getting all smart today. Duplicate, uh, time. Seven a.m. Oh no. Oh God. And went to Myriad Pro. Damn it. Mm, there it is. B A I L Y. And then I go back here. Space, backspace, seven, space. Okay. And then back to schedule, duplicate layer, and we're gonna do Facebook. Um, and then we're going to on Facebook. And then we're gonna bring that down. Schedule 7 a.m. daily on Facebook. Um, And then we need to, I need to add a mixer. We need to, we need to come up with a time. What's a good time, ladies and gentlemen, for the mixer at night? It's Kool-Aid's birthday. Oh my God. Happy birthday. Since he's sleeping with his mouth wide open, um, poke him in the, poke him in the tonsil for me. I uh, stopped dressing up when I was, my daughter was two because I thought I'd traumatize her. <laughs> yes. Good morning. Good morning, Crystal. 
That's awesome. We're going to have to do something special for Kool-Aid today. Absolutely. We're going to have to do something special for Kool-Aid today. All right. So we've got schedule, Facebook, and time. Hey, dig on it. We're going to merge these um, if it allows me to. What else merge? Um, not to shit. There's no merge. Duplicate, delete, convert to smart object, link layers. We will link the layers because we can't merge them. And then we can move it down to here. That look good? What do you think about that? Oh, y'all guys can't see. Shit, hang on. Let me put this right here and now you can see what i'm doing i'm sorry i thought i i, I don't know why i made it so damn small i was thinking of my camera and now y'all can see what i'm doing okay so i think i like that um what else do i need to put on here what else do we say i said i was going to put the schedule on here um what other information was i going to put on here somebody tell me When's your next day at ARCS? Uh, cor uh, not this year that I, I don't know. I I don't think I'm going to make it back up there this year. I've canceled everything for the rest of the year because I have some film shoots that I have to do. But I don't think I'll be making it back up to ARCS anytime soon. Um, okay, so somebody. Somebody tell me what... Um, what, what else did I say I needed to add to the screen? I don't remember. I added the mixer. We added the mixer. And I added the schedule what else was i supposed to add we got abaddon probably on this.com up top uh what the hell else was it i got instagram instagram's on instagram tiktok instagram tiktok twitter and facebook are on there mixers on there and the schedule what is it what was it um uh, you want to see something for a freaky animal look at a wet koala a hairless bear or a hairless rabbit. They are all freaky looking. I got TikTok. I got Facebook. I got Mixer. I got the schedule. Good morning, Jessica. The website's up top. We got the website up top on the on the on the program. That big what was it? There was something else. Um somebody asked me and I was like, I need to add that. And I don't remember what the hell it was now. I got the schedule. Um, schedule 7 a.m. daily on Facebook. Audio feed. I don't know. I had the faces. I had the big Chris Arts down there. I got Cult of Bulls down there. I got the the ticker for the donations. They have the music up. Um, where the hell was it? Brain's not working. Uh, we got that, that, that. <clears throat> was the Patreon? Was it the Patreon that I was gonna put on there? Maybe I don't remember. I need to because we got the contest coming out soon. I need to make a graphic for the contest because um, that's coming out in I think January. We're gonna do it in January or February. We'll start it either in January or February. Um, do -do 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 -do. Let me open up my website. Let me just open up my website and let's look at the website and see what what's on there. Maybe maybe it was maybe I'm thinking of, of that I had to put something on the website. Um, about the schedule. Schedule. I love saying it that way. Isn't it so much fun? Schedule. Yes, I do not have a schedule on the website, so I need to add that. Um, yes, yes, yes. I think I need to add that on the w website. I think we do the website a little bit because I mean I've got links you can click on. Good morning, John. John, how are you? Patreon. Yes, I have Patreon. Yes, my Patreon is amazing. Um, I think I have a I think I have a become a Patreon. Um, PNG. Um, somewhere in one of these spheres. In one of these files, right, y'all? Um, I 
I have a link to the store. Where is the Patreon? But I'd maze my if I ever put something in the right daggum folder, I would amaze myself. I'm just saying. If I ever, ever, ever put something in the correct damn folder, I wouldn't know what to do with myself. Um, it is not in PNG files. Hooks and Mitchell, maybe? Um, buttons. Nope. Resize buttons. That, see, I have it because it's, I have it already on other graphics everywhere. So I know I have this PNG. Um, where? Oh, I know I wanted to put this on there. Oh God, you can't even see it. Um, I think that looks too much like a button though because people will try to click it and won't be able to click it and they'll be like what the hell's wrong with your button um, I know I have this like I said somewhere it's not under buttons it's not under resize buttons um, no it's not under sound loops uh, da -da 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 -da. what in the shite did I do with it maybe it's under demon hour doubt it though now I need to go ahead and delete that damn near entire file because like I need to re remove stuff around and then delete it because we don't do that no more. Well, we don't do that anymore. Uh, website, video and loops, Twix Adventures. Uh, Jessica R. I can delete that one. Delete that folder. I drive dump fan art fan pics, Facebook. And that is not in the Facebook file. Colorful creepy con, creepy pics, banner videos, app, Rex, Abaddon, under the bone pile, I'm pretty sure. I wonder if it's under this one. Graphics. We're gonna check another another hard drive. Yes, koalas are drop bears and they are vicious. And if they're wet, they look vicious. They do not look fun and cuddly and happy and sweet and kind. When they are wet, they look like evil creatures that will destroy your soul for fun. It is not there. Let's check the PNG. Well, dadgum it. I know I have this dadgum file somewhere already. I hate re-downloading stuff when I already got it. You know what I mean? So let's just, uh, let's go into purple overlays and let's go find it real quick. I can't find the one that I have. Why would I be able to? I just tell you. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Let's see. There's one. Angie. Oh, 
Dang it. Oh, Download transfer and image. <coughs> Okay. Let's see if this worked. Okay. And I need to change this to over here and then put this on there. There we go. Okay. Probably about right there what do you think Does that work um i had to go find the dadgum link all right there we go Does that work uh good morning al how are you well, i think that works i think that's that's good it's got the schedule it's got all the information for the mixer tiktok instagram twitter facebook support us on patreon i think that I think that's everything on there for the audio feed uh am i missing something Am I missing anything? I don't think I am. I am not sure. Uh, we'll save this as a JPEG. And oh, wait, no, I want it in purple. Um, purple overlay. Um, audio feed. Three. We'll do audio feed three. Save. All right. Let's uh, go back into my um, in here. Where is? Oh no, the wrong one. That one. Let's turn that off. Okay. And. Where the hell's audio feed? There it is. Okay. So I need to add audio feed three. And then we need to bring this down to fit in here. Could have made it a little bit taller, which I can stretch it. No, oh, I can't either. Yeah, it needs to be a little bit taller. In order to fit in here properly I need to come up um, crop uh, let's see let's uh, merge layers crop need to come up about so far and come up about so far there we go. And then paint. And this good work. That should work. I'll save as um, JPEG. Boom. Save. Okay. Okay. There we go. That is a little better. I think that'll work. All right. So let's drag this down to here. And turn this one off. Oh, it needs to be just a little bit bigger. That's what she said. Oh my god. Okay, so we need to actually we may not. I just may be able to just drop it down a little bit. Um there we go. Now we can take uh Uh, 
this one and get rid of it because we already have it on there. And this one we can get rid of because we already have it on there. And boom, there we go. Um, now you can still see the radio playing. Yeah, that sort of Patreon, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, X Split. I think that's everything. You guys let me know. Um, you should be able to see it any second, hopefully. Uh, let's see if you can see it yet. Yeah, you can see it. So, how does that work? Does that work better? Okay. Well, I think we've got the graphics kind of set now, and I'll have to change it for the mixer too. Um, and then I'm gonna have to put the schedule on the website. Um, I think I'm going to change the website while I'm sitting there. Why not? You guys are awesome. And I can see the comments again. Um, so I'm gonna be on here for a little while, a little bit longer. Why not? absolutely why not so share this out if you'd like to share it out you don't have to but if you want to then do it because you know you're awesome like that and because you know he's amazing he sounds amazing i look better i look much better we're gonna fix the website up too while we're at it why not we're gonna fix up avidonapolyon.com dot com um let me turn back on my uh, display capture. Let me get this back over here. Get this back over here. And we'll turn this back on. And then we're going to, we are going to black out this. Oh, wow. That is the wrong button. Oh no, that's the right button. Uh -huh. Okay, we're gonna have to paint now because yeah, yeah, I gotta go over all this stuff. Okay, we rid all the glow. So that is where we're going to be putting the web address. And then I'm going to put the links on the buttons. So let's see, edit site. Cheeky cheeky bow wow. All right, we got that up. Okay, now let's go into purple overlay. Um, and we're going to do it. Nope, do it. Yes. And. That's closer. Okay. Okay. Now I need to. Oh. Now that. Now I need to edit. Retransform.
Okay, we like that. Save as. Doodly do, JPEG. Save. Okay. So, get over here on this. And, um. Not sure how I want to do this yet. We'll take this one, replace the image with that one, and then we'll low relay on some other stuff. Uh, look at all them pictures of me. <laughs> at face reveal. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Uh, purple overlays. Um. <laughs> Website. There we go. Uh, don't. No, that's not what I want to do. Close that out. Um. Let's do image. Oh, that's not what I want. Son of a bitch. Hang on. I gotta move it over to a screen closer where I can see. Cancel. Uh, edit background. Replace. Upload. There we go. I couldn't see what the damn thing was. I see is it now. Website. Oh wow, that's way too big. Um. That is horrible, actually. I do not like this this program. What the shit? Discord. Oh, yeah, I didn't put the Discord up there, but uh, that's fine because the Discord is for Patreon members only. So, this is driving me crazy. Look at this. Yeah, like it's all fucked up. Uh, I don't like that. I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to figure out what I want to do here. I think I want to just add. If I add it as an image on the top, right? Then upload it like so. It's a black website. And then I add, I'm going to put the Patreon. No, that did not work. That is not what I wanted. Oh God. Okay, how did the fucking background get put back on here? What the shit? Uh, color. Okay. Then. Okay. So we've got the links. I don't know how that's going to play out. Okay, so that's good. Donate. Have a Patreon. Merch, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I didn't add a TikTok yet. And photos, commission, post bikes, all of our videos. Um, featured content. 
a boogie. That's not bad. I wish I could make this a little bit bigger, though. I don't think you can. Um... And edit, align, spacing, advanced. Um, I don't think you can. I don't know. We're gonna find out. I might be able to with edit image. Uh. It didn't do anything. What the shit? That did nothing. Except turn my screen gray. What the shit? That didn't work. I didn't know anything but lock on the screen. Shit. I got. I, I'll let you build me a kick-ass site, Darren. Get to work. <laughs> Get to work. I'm not the greatest at website building. I try though. I try to keep the website of a day. I've got I, I've got a a whole idea with a website, like a, a massive big website, and I don't know why this bitch is going so slow right now. Like this is insane. Um. I, well, the website that I want is I want a I want a social media site with a streaming site where people can go log in, have a uh, uh, their own username, log in to the site, and have a social area and a streaming area with the radio station and all kinds of other stuff. Um, I need somebody that can code. Right now, I'm, ugh. Right now, I'm just adding something on here that will have uh, the schedule. That's the main thing that I wanted. I just wanted to schedule. Who ids me? M for what the hell? Depends on who ids M for what? Oh, dep oh, it depends on who's it for. For the charging? Yeah. Um, Right now, I just wanted something that uh, will have all the information on it, and that works. So, why is my Patreon link so retarded? Like, what happened? It's supposed to look like that. Um, but let's replace image anyway. Um, that dog it. No, I don't want you to do that too fast. I don't want you to replace. Damn it. Quit it. Um, I want you to replace you. And you're not letting me replace you. Move, copy, no. All right, you, you, you stupid thing. You stop. You're supposed to be able to let me replace this, you prick. Whatever, I'll delete you. I don't care. I will delete you and I'll put in a new one. I want this one. Anyway. Um, I'm going to try to edit image on this one and see if it works. See if it locks me up again. It did not. Good. Uh, there's a crop, but there's no... There's no... That turns it. I want that. I don't want rotation. I want... Where the hell is the resize at? Motherless sons of ore. Hmm. 
I know there's a damn. There it is. I don't want to support us on there. Actually, no, I do. Ah, eh, screw it. Okay, we'll cancel that. We'll leave it on there. Work it. I guess I'm gonna resize it. I have to resize it in my in my Photoshop. <sighs> What's a light box? I want a light box. Link. Um, horror merch. Patreon. Happy. And a website. Ace. Okay. But I think I'm going to have to. Spider um, here. And then the spacer here. I'll drop that down just a little bit. And then let's put. Oh, now it makes it smaller. Are you freaking serious? <laughs> I hate these things. Oh, I hate self builders. I really hate them. They, they tick me off. They make me angry. Um, actually, yeah, I want that there. Okay, so let's do another spacer. Frick it. Oh my god, this is irritating as shit. See, like, oh wait, there we go. Okay. And this one's supposed to be. What is this? Why? Why are? You, why are you here? Where did you come from? Get out of here. Okay. That'll work. We'll do that. Work it. Oh my God! This is so stressful. Okay. You can import and export. Yes, I can. I can import and export. You make me a website, and I will import it. I will look at it and import it. Does it when it puts the white outline around just. It just did the line. No, like, like it wouldn't. It wouldn't do it for me. Like when it puts white, like there's nowhere to grab it, like other than just move it left or right. Like I was trying to see if you could, you could grab it by like, you know, some way. But it's it's not. It's it's a piece of poop. All right, let's see if that works better. Now there we go. Okay, so that doesn't look bad. Okay. All right, so that's that doesn't look bad, and you got all the stuff, so that'll work for now. Yeah, build me a website, and I'll put it on there. Corners. No, I did. I like look, 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 click on, look, look, look like this. I go to the corner. It just. Oh wait, wait. Oh my God. Okay, I love you. See, you taught me something today. Because I, I was trying to do that, and I couldn't find out where the hell it was at. This little thing, it's little blue, the little blue box. Got you. Oh look, it went away. What the shit? It's not exactly clear whether they even no, no. no, why did it go away? There it is. Okay, so yeah, yeah, okay, that works. That works. I think I'm done. I don't know. I think I'm done screwing with it. I'm done screwing with it because I don't want to screw it up anymore. <laughs> I'm decent at graphics. Like I'm pretty good at graphics, but uh, doing the whole website thing, I'm I'm a I'm a clown. Um, I just want people to be able to go and just easily find things and click on it. You know what I mean? So that is the website now. I hear something. I've got something. I've got something playing somewhere. I don't know where it's at. I hear another. Something. I don't know what it is. Okay. 
let's uh let's go here and let's turn off my uh this one okay so now we're back to the almost back to the feed i think i closed the dam i hope i didn't close it out i did not okay good oh no i did close it out oh no i didn't okay good good good, good. oops okay so um i have to find everything now since i've moved everything around okay so we're all good now let's pull up the facebook feed so i can see your comments better 